Hey everyone, it's Muhammad again. Uh, I'm still recording the 2D game tutorials series, but uh, we're recording this uh, tutorial series. I, I was working with for loops because basically it's very important to make that game simple. So normally when you use for loop, you keep increasing the amount of variable. So for example, if you are using a variable i to, to to work with your loop so with each loop you you add to this variable like add one or two or three it depends on your needs but sometimes while working with for loops you you will need to for example divide or multiply or, or, or minus or do anything else not just addition so i was working in blueprints and found that it's always keep adding but in my game sample, I need to remove. I don't need to add any more to the variable. I need to take the variable, not 10, 9, 8, 7. So I need to do this process, but it, it's not helping me. So I figured out a way to do that. So yeah, I'm sharing it with you. It will help with something. So I make a blueprint, paste in anything. It's, okay, paste in character. Let's call it, uh, I think, something. And let's open this. I'll do first the normal for loop, and then uh, we are going to change this. Yeah. Let's do something different. No character. Let's make let's make it based on something. Uh, what is shapes. Let's make one based on this cube, so we can place in the world it. Uh, okay, using this. And put it here called QB. Oh, sorry, here in game, call it QB. So, let's make first a normal for loop and then we start to discuss what we're going to make. So, I'll make a variable here, let's make it a type of integer and let's call it. Uh, my value and let's when the game start let's set this value to like let's say well, if I do this 20 20 is fine and yeah let's first thing we change this value to 20 and after that we do a full loop In this for loop, we should add the first index, which the loop start with, and last index, which when the loop hit, it can stop. So our first index will be zero, and our last index will be this variable, which is became twenty now. So our last index. So this is a loop body, and we are going to print every frame what's going on. So print and let's print this index which is a loop are going to change so let's uh, convert this integer to string so to string and yeah it's everything let's add one more thing just when when the loop completed we, we add uh, print it's completed so let's say completed Just one little funky thing that I, I, I like to change some colors, so I don't like the default colors, so ah, let's make this one black, in fact. So yeah, let's save and compile and drop this here. It's fine, here. So when I start the game, yeah, 0, 1, 2, Till 20 and then it prints. Yeah, it prints. Yeah, completed. Okay. So, what if I want to start with 20, not 0, and then adding 1, 2, 3, 4? So, I, I want to make the process reverse it and using minus instead of plus. So, yeah. So, if you check this for loop, it's, it's called macro and then. Unfortunately, this thing we can open and check how it is constructed. 
so we're going to make something use minus minus instead of plus plus so we're going to make a new macro so I'm going to select everything here and copy this and came here to our blueprint and let's add a new macro and let's call it our for loop minus minus and let's paste the whole thing here before pasting anything you are going to see that there's inputs and outputs in here so yeah this inputs and outputs we can see it here have some values so we are going to add the same value like this one so if you select an input you'll see this is the input and this is the output it have execution it have first index and last index and the output have the execution which is the loop body and have the index and have the completed so we are going to add the same in here so we are going to select any of these and add this okay execution it's the type of execution and we have uh, first index we can name it whatever we need and we have also last index I, I just use short word L instead of last and yeah this is the input here and the output have the execution just to finish and it have also the index to return the value if we need it and also have completed which runs if the loop completed and this is type of execution so we can take this here oh it's called new parameter cool it's called Execution. What? Okay, it's fine. Execution. And yeah, this is the execution, and this is here. We we are going to start first, make it almost like this. So we need to connect the first index to value, and last index to the second thing here. So first index to value and last index in here and the other one we need to connect the index directly from variable and complete it if it's false so if it's false complete it then this variable in here and yeah this one should be the same so if we let's close this yeah because if we change it something in here and we made a new project the thing we are did here it would be move to the new project because basically it's something inside the engine and you shouldn't change something in this standard macros yeah you're going to blame yourself and then blame me <laughs> so anyway let's save and let's come here again to the event graph and let's replace the normal for loop with our for loop minus minus You'll find it have the same thing. Okay, let's connect here, connect here, keep this one at zero, and this is the loop body, and we're going to use this integer, and this is what happens when we finish the loop. So we should have the same result now. Just compile. Yeah, the same result. Zero. It starts with zero and ends with twenty, and when it finishes, print completed. So what we're going to make now? We make it reverse it. So it starts with twenty and then it finishes with zero. So we're going to the for loop here. First, the main process we're going to add in each cycle of the loop is is we're going to minus from the original variable. So we're going to select minus and let's add one and replace this here with the value and remove this we don't need anymore and save if we run the loop now we will definitely have a crash yeah we'll have a crash 
because of this operation should be changed. This now he, here what happens now we say oh okay if the first index is less than or equal lost index which now in this situation the first index will be the 20 and last index will be the zero so it will be almost like <laughs> an endless loop so we are going here again and we are going to remove this operation and we are going to add greater than so basically we say if 20 is more than 0 so let's make one cycle and in this cycle we are going to minus so it became 19 and in the next cycle we say if 19 is greater than 0 so make another cycle and it's the variable we became 18 and so on so take this one here where was the condition and and connect the last index which is zero with the second part and first index is here and this one yeah should be fun so if we save and compile and run so you'll find it 20 sorry Trying to pause. Yeah, pause. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, we can open here the output. Let's clean it and let's. So it start with twenty and then keep removing. Became less, 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 and then completed. So now we are using the which is for loop minus minus. Yeah, it's. Basically, yeah, I'm using this one even more than the plus plus. And normally, you are going to use this while using uh, arrays. So yeah, it's here. So let's trap it again. So when the game start, we just set the value of our variable or whatever value we are going to control to to the highest number we need, and then we say in the for loop. In the, for, in the custom for loop, it's not normal for loop. You can see its icon here, it's different. If you check the for loop, it have uh, like a cycle icon. Yeah, this is the original for loop and this is the, uh, our custom macro or our custom for loop, which call, we called it for minus minus. And yeah, in this for loop, we say, okay, get the first index, which is the highest value, and, and start removing from it one by one. And whenever we execute, we just print the message. If we open the for loop here, we have the input, which is first index and last index. We got it from here, f index and l index. And we compare whenever the first index is greater than the last index, which is means the big number is greater than the small number let's it's true and then we execute and do the same loop again and also we always remove one not adding one so yeah i i hope this type of loop became available in the engine so we don't need to add it in any project or yeah it's, i i i wish it became something standard in the engine because yeah programmer use it or even in in, in here they, they might maybe maybe add something for the for loop itself so they add the for loop and add another value here it say you are going to add or, or remove or multiply or divide or whatever you want to make so yeah i hope it was useful you are going to use it and be tuned for the 2d game tutorials i'm still recording it i have some issues and i'm working on another personal project it's gonna be released soon so it's just a little bit busy but yeah i'm, I'm keep working on the tutorial and whenever it's, it's done i will release it at once everything the whole thing at once and probably probably i'll put the project on github as well so people can use it or can check check anything use it as a reference i i have no idea yet what i'm going to do so i hope you enjoy it learn something new and if you have any comments put it below and yeah see you next time bye